Hello, 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 everybody! I'm Budo, you're watching Meat Lovers, and welcome back to Dungeons 2. Today, we are taking on the mission King's Road Has to Die. And there's a goblin thing. I think that's a goblin. Or a goblin gnome. Eh, whatever. Let's press play and see what the narrator has to say for us. He's really good. Like,. Whoa! Achievement time. According to scouts, King Robert spent most of his time strolling around his hunting lodge garden reciting poetry. Soon his poetry would turn into mournful ballads. The vengeful evil thirsted to defeat the Alliance's king and mount his head on the wall as a trophy. Whoops, of course, I really mean that he wanted to take all of King Robert's cookies away. Better play it safe, or the age classification folks will be after me. <laughs> Before that, however, the ultimate evil had to do Fourth with the wall is the broken. Otherwise, it wouldn't be able to fund even a small army made up of a few orcs. Hmm. Good point. Um, so let's get digging, eh, bros. Yes, here we go. Some sort of treasury. Um, some sort of something down here, too. And up here. And see, uh, right now I'm just digging around because I can. <laughs> Let's, um. Make the snotlings work for The us. first treasury was completed. Soon greedy evil's little snots would fill it with gold. You know the golden rule, right? Whoever has the gold makes the rules. The mm. first brewery was completed. Soon beer would be flowing like a river, and an Oktoberfest atmosphere would pervade all. <laughs> would the ultimate evil put the beer baron out of business? Ugh, Probably. A tough reference. <laughs> Black knows when even his references are a bit off. Oh, look! I'm dragging the camera with the mouse right now, and the hand is grabbing the ground. That's amazing. Right now, the restricted evil was only able to call upon orcs and little snots. But there had been rumors that some goblins were hiding out in a cave somewhere close by. The exploratory evil would be sure to follow this line of inquiry. I'm really going after all kinds of gold right now. I don't even care. It's kind of weird. Wow. Here we have the entrance thingy. I'm guessing. Um, let's get an orc up. The just... evil had hired the first orc. Yay! As mm. ancient wisdom says, violence <coughs> is a solution. Usually the only one. <laughs> Yeah, why not? I don't know. Work faster. Snobs. I like that they have names. It's so amazing. Like the strategy guidebook, Dungeons mm -hmm. for Dummies, says <clears throat> Mountains don't always just consist of rocks and stones but may also include natural as well as artificial caves and rooms. Mm -hmm. These usually contain treasures and dangers to make digging around underground more exciting. <laughs> more exciting? Is that seriously what you're gonna go with here? Eh, okay, why not? Um, <clears throat> the steady have... pounding in the rocks are given rise to orcs. overworld okay. rumors of a new dungeon. A group of heroes set out to plunder its ruins, yeah, of course. and the ultimate evil was already looking forward to this visit. <laughs> Another orc entered the service of the military savvy evil. The horde was growing and prospering. See, I like that when whenever we switch up to the surface, boom, we are in a heroes RTS. Entered your dungeon, and boom, now we're back to the management. State. 
of everything. It's it's so nice. Okay, you and you. I want you to be right here. The wake up. The evil should never forget to keep a watchful eye on its beer and gold stores. Seven beer, help three hundred. Whenever they need to, they will get angry. Yeah, yeah. Fast. Here comes the third one. The time to attack appeared to be right. On the surface, in the tavern of a small, miserable village, some adventurers gathered. They were acquiring Dutch courage for their visit to the dungeon by downing several beers. The dungeon had to be destroyed. Says who? I like it here. One more little snot, and then we are good to go. Now you guys can go up to the surface, apparently. Yeah. And we are in an RTS state of things. Let's see, what do we the have? ultimate evil slowly made itself closing underground. Although this was a sensible decision, there was a large and lovely overworld out there, <laughs> just waiting to be destroyed. Oh, it's look! Payday! Wow, getting paid even on the overworld. That's sensible enough. Okay, you know what? Do what you do right now, just fine, okay? Wow, that fat guy is durable like hell. <coughs> hmm, I like that there's all these stats you can just go in and check out here. Okay, let's uh, kill the spawn house. Else that's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, but train them up, that's fine. Hitting for 14 and they're hitting for 1. Damn! Okay, now. Back to work. <laughs> Roll call the Explorer. Velgor. Blah 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 blah. Yay! A delicious rumble announced the fact that the village's last house had crashed to the ground. Yes, ah, the only there one. There would be no more heroes meeting there to seek out the dungeon of the destruction hungry evil. The nope. hunting lodge of King Robert lay in the north. It was there that the ultimate evil would finally get its long-awaited revenge. However, it looked pretty damn well guarded. Yeah. Maybe it should first visit the cave to the west, inhabited by a clan of goblins, where the cunning evil could do a little negotiating. Negotiation? Okay. Um. Oh my god! Um. Just. Wow. Um. That's a lot of, uh, gold? Just the correct word, I guess. Wow. Okay. You guys don't have to go far for this. Oh, actually. I would actually rather this symmetric boy like that. it's good my little snots you are working well well indeed work work <laughs> slapping them around a bit that helps that's just a fact of life There we go. That's um, that's good enough. Okay, let's go back to the overworld here with the orcs and 
They are still not looking too peachy, but okay. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So there's no map for this. The goblin leader prostrated himself joyfully before the ultimate evil and immediately dispatched <laughs> two goblins into its dungeon with a few plans for a new room, Ooh. a tinkerer's cave. Nice. This was built as quickly as possible. Yeah. We have the two goblins here. Um, tinkerer's cave, how about here? Because the tinkerer's cave was built could, however, only be used as a warehouse, as it lacked the workshop that the insidious evil's goblins needed. Quick as a flash, evil plays the creator I the third mat one. I'm pretty sure I do cave. not need the third a one. A sparkling new creator mat grace the tinkerer's cave of the expansion-hungry evil. Yeah. A goblin would be able to work well in here, producing toolboxes. A few of these boxes would now be needed in order to invent a trap. The moody evil waited patiently. Or I could go back, get my guys down here to get some stuff, like health. Ooh. Okay. Bedroom. Uh, boredom. Boredom. Okay. And yeah, that. So far we have the two of that. Search that just because. Research a trap. Okay, there is only one trap to research, but fine, fine, fine. <coughs> Come on. Come on, do this. Semi faster, I guess. I still have Oryx back at your place, so... <laughs> Wait, was... Would he free? He's free? Huh, cool. Right now I'm just digging around, because I can. Hmm. As cowardly hey. as the goblins were, their creativity more than made up for this. They proudly presented the treacherous evil with their plan for a devious trap. With a silent <laughs> evil cackle, it quickly buckled down to Later. setting the trap. Come on. So, 16 we can have in here. So wait, my snotlings are the one we're setting up the traps. Oh, that's fine. Fine by me. Hmm. Uh, of course. Oh, cool. I didn't know you could get that down. Come on, gobbies. Okay, nope. Nope. Uh-uh. Not gonna happen. Um defend the throne room. Yeah. Guys, you heard him. Okay. Why Job are you done. The trap was finished and ready to be found by a hero. <laughs> This is going to be so much fun. Just at that moment, Character. a particularly powerful really? dwarf warrior appeared in the dungeon. How had he suddenly arrived at this precise time was indeed most odd, but his presence was more than welcome. He was going to be a guinea pig for the trap. Defend the throne room. Yeah, I am. It's hard. Even this strong dwarf warrior didn't stand a chance against the treacherous traps Fair, and let's... powerful monsters of the invincible yeah. evil. He bit the dust. He bit the dust. So much for a game of dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> the dungeon's defenses were now clearly much improved, but the hunting lodge still remained well protected and impregnable. There was nothing that the ultimate evil could do. The task was impossible. So no. the evil withdrew bent and broken. 
let feelings of revenge ebb away, and instead took up looking after those cute, teeny weeny trees. What are they called again? Bonsai, yes, that's it. <laughs> the end. Pretty unsatisfactory, huh? Of course, yeah. that wasn't the end. Good. In reality, the indefatigable evil paid the goblin cave another little visit. The goblin leader would hopefully spit out something useful after a few more slaps. Okay. That means you three dummies weren't much use in the defension defense. You just useless. They weren't home. And I don't have the a teleporter spell. Evil couldn't wait to explore the further possibilities of the Tinkerer's cave. In particular, a hospital seemed a useful way to cure its ailing units. It set about asking for this to be researched. Okay, let's uh, drop that right there for now. Let's um, get a hospital unlocked. Just because that's what the narrator says and we do what the narrator wants. Just saying. <coughs> Just an FYI. Yeah, that's gonna come later. Um, are you guys down here now? Yeah, good. Okay. Let's um, slap him just a bit. That's what it he did said. Take a few hard slaps were enough to motivate the leader Damage. of the goblins to help the ultimate evil. As it transpired, there was an old tunnel which had been previously used as an escape route. This connected the goblin cave with the vaults of the hunting lodge. The goblin leader voluntarily made a goblin assassin available to the hard-hitting evil to help infiltrate the lodge. The charitable evil had researched the hospital. This would enable its units to quickly recover from their injuries, once it had been built, that is. The caring evil had good-naturedly built a hospital for its suffering creatures. It, however, still lacked a hospital bed. Little Snots would then bring any units there that had been injured in the dungeon. The first hospital bed had been built. Wounded units could now be healed in the hospital. Little Snots would also be able to bring defeated creatures here so that they could be nursed back to health. Okay, um, let's continue on with our little assassin here, so I, wait, that's dumb. Now you're stealthed. Just move around. Despite the powerful invisibility skill, it was advisable for the ultimate evil to be cautious. Some opponents had such highly trained observation skills that they were actually able to see invisible units. A locked door prevented the assassin from progressing. It would have taken a long, long, long time for him to have opened uh -oh. it with sheer brute force using Come weaponry. On. Thankfully, yeah. he had a suitable skill with which he could deactivate doors and, more importantly, traps. <laughs> Okay, no, 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 no! Payday! And so the negligent evil promptly allowed the only really vital unit to this mission to die. The goblin leader sighed and put his second best assassin at evil's disposal. <laughs> Sorry, and think. Rats are apparently too much to handle. Eh, whatever. So, as you can see, the Guy's corpse is still there. Immune to traps. Cool. Let's attack the rats. Get them killed. Boom. Yay. And health potion. Nah, damn it, he didn't wake up. The on the ball evil recognized that the warrior princess there was extremely powerful. The goblin assassin would be best advised to avoid any contact with her. Mm hmm. Let's just mosey on over. Yep. 
Oh, full health. Turn off stealthy. Yay! A gobobot was being forced to make miserable repairs in the lodge. A brief feeling of what it thought might be sympathy passed through the sensitive evil, but this actually turned out to be a mighty belch. Naturally, it would free the useful gobobot anyway. Ah! One head KO. Nice. So, a total assassination move. Awesome. I think I'm gonna let you stand here just for a little bit. And, um... Agent by the assassin's attempt at rescuing it, the Gobobot joined the horde and succeeded in showing its tormentors a real hot time. Yeah. Its ability to more or less ignore range damage and set fire to large areas would come in very handy. Very, very handy. It's it's kind of like a tank, like a really, really big tank. Okay, let's take it from over here. No, no, no. Oh god, no. Don't you dare die on me. Attack it! Do it fast! Please. This thing is like. Really not that sturdy anymore. You do 12 damage a hit. That's the last hit. Nice. Okay, let's take out this one. Whew, I would really like to have you guys back in the dungeon to recuperate. Oh, great, you guys are still here. Right. The hunting oh, lodge guys. was completely destroyed. Nice. The vengeful evil gave itself a very self-satisfied pat on the back. The time was right to concentrate yep. on King Robert. He was in his renowned garden reciting his much less renowned love poems. The lyrically challenged evil had no time for poetry and would soon make this tangibly clear to him. Uh-oh. Do you guys regen health? Just, just FYI. We have two people over here. We are still up to 18. Points. You guys do that. Then I want you back in the dungeon. You can focus on that when you're safe. And healed. It's it's so weird when I go over here, brr. Here. Wow! Double butt is fast. Damn fast. <laughs> and then I want uh, like oh yeah, what was this? Uh, this was uh, armor plus one. Good. All of all, you're getting that. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's go in here. Search to tar trap. Is there any rooms? No. Upgrade the healing. No, why not? Ah, oh, look, it's it's. I know. I don't want to pick you up. Hey, hello. Yeah, what? Fine. I'm gonna place you there myself. Heal up. <laughs> uh, this, it's so nice that you can do so many things. I think. Boom. Come on, it's not like work. 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 Day. Do you need pay?
Oh, research complete. Nice. That means tart traps now available. And one more. Boom. I feel that's a good and secure and safe place. That should be fine. Right now we have so much gold. So, it's not a problem. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna... Take you. You. Actually also gonna take you. And you. And I'm gonna send you guys to the... To the top first. Then we can talk about everything else afterwards. How is this coming along? Eh, fine, it's just in boxes. We have 12 of those, so it's not a problem. Eh, uh, Gobobot, you are nearly healed up and the same as the Assassin, or... PS Free? Free? Really? That's... that's the thing? That's... that's what you're going for? Okay. Never mind. Um... Yeah. I want to go over here. Want to whatever that is, kill it. I rather so much do not care what it is. I just want it dead. Like I do want everything. The horde came across a stray goblin by the roadside, who apparently constituted the sad remains of one of the hunting lodge's attack units. <laughs> this miserable being joined the army of the powerful evil with a grateful whimper. Okay. Fine. That's okay to me. And everybody's full health now. Goody, goody, goody. Let's just put them all there. And we have a plus 15 to damage. Um, you know what? That's going to be the gobble butt here. This is yours. Take it, love it, and do damage. Wow, orcs are slow and the same as the assassin. Huh. Yeah, let's just uh, go forth. Venture forth and kill. The king was accompanied by a pixie who was able to cast powerful healing magic. Any direct attack would be suicidal. Kill the rabbit. Mercifully, the omniscient and helpful narrator was at hand. He pointed out to the impatient evil that the pixie went off from time to time in order to check that all was well, and much more importantly, eat her supper in a little camp to the south. Ooh, plus. Wait, all my orcs have... And kill! The pixie buzzed over to eat her meal. The ultimate evil prepared an ambush. <sighs> One would think that killing a fragile flying being wouldn't be rocket science. That but is. an incredibly incompetent evil had taken far oh. too long in doing so. And Hurt your lot! What are you talking about? I showed myself my assets and... She went cuckoo. You know what? It's gonna be the assassin who's gonna get this. Because stealth time. Oh my god, can you hear that? The annoying little yep. pixie had spoken her last healing spell. The crafty-minded evil sculpted a fan from her wings. Now it was time to look for King Robert and ensure his early demise. Hello, King Robert. You're not looking so fan today, are you, sir? Rather dead. To be too. King Robert fell and the ultimate evil had received its well-deserved <laughs> revenge. But there were still many more heroes out there who <laughs> deserved to bite the dust. Their time Another one bite the dust. Another one bites the dust. 
and thank you all for watching. I am Budo. You've been watching the Meat Lovers, and next time we have snake people. Apparently. Uh, Naga. Naga. Nagas. Yeah. So thank you all for watching. I'm Budo. You've been watching the Meat Lovers, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you all for watching. Bye.